Peggy 16. Welcome to France Recruit. In this second video in our Classified France 44 gameplay deep dive series, we'll be taking a look at the different ways you can approach missions. Stealth, Moving. ambush, assault. Each approach has its own place in the resistance arsenal, but it'll be up to you to decide when to stay quiet and when to go loud. Firstly, let's talk stealth. The resistance is at its best when we get in, achieve our objectives, and get out without Jerry even realizing we were there. You'll need to take stealth missions slowly, hiding from enemy patrols and striking from the shadows with knife attacks when the opportunity arises. Be careful though, melee attacks leave your soldiers exposed and potentially out of cover at the end of their turn. If one of your units has eyes on an enemy, you'll be able to view the enemy unit's field of view on the battlefield. Enemy patrols can be unpredictable though, and just because your unit is safely hidden away on one turn, doesn't mean another enemy won't emerge from the fog of war and spot them next turn. Alongside staying hidden, keeping quiet is another vital part of the stealth missions. Some actions like melee attacks, cutting barbed wire, and smashing windows will alert enemies nearby to the source of the noise. This can be used to your advantage, however. Units with the distraction skill can misdirect an enemy's attention by throwing a pebble to distract them. Use this skill to find openings in enemy patrols or to get your units out of a pickle. Getting spotted isn't an automatic mission over, however. Your team will simply have to resort to fighting their way out of a bad situation. Which leads us nicely onto ambush missions. Ambushes start with your units in stealth, but as you progress through the mission area and quietly dispatch enemies, you'll build up your awareness meter. As you pick off patrols and thin the herd, your team can sense when the enemy is starting to get suspicious. When the awareness meter is at its peak, your squad will signal that it's the perfect time to strike with the element of surprise. We have ambushed them! Attack! Unleashing your ambush will give your team a free round to make attacks before the enemy responds. Use this ambush wisely and try to position your units in advantageous flanking positions before that last stealth build springs your trap. Once your ambush is over and the Bosch are a few men down, the gloves come off into open warfare which ties nicely into the third approach, Assault. You'll start assault missions as you'd expect, in full contact with the enemy. Whether you're assaulting a German position or hunkered down to repel an assault, the enemy will be ready for you. Utilizing everything in your team's arsenal will be up to you to achieve your mission objectives and extract as few casualties as possible. Even if you do gain the upper hand over Fritz, try not to get cocky. Enemy reinforcements can arrive at any time and may sometimes appear in the most inconvenient places, putting your soldiers in danger of being flanked. Knowing when to go loud and when to stay quiet is the key of any successful guerrilla warfare campaign. The success of Operation Overlord relies on your resistance cell understanding this. We're relying on you, soldier. Vive la resistance!